वी आर वेरी डिलाइटेड टू अनाउंस दैट लीड्स कनेक्ट नाउ इज फुल्ली इक्यूट फॉर डिलीवरिंग ड्रोन एज ए सर्विस ट्रांस यूजिंग मल्टी रोटर एंड फिक्स व्हील ड्रोन नाउ एंड ओवर टू आलोक मुखर्जी यू विल एक्सप्लेन रिगार्डिंग दैट थैंक यू सर एज योगेश सर आवर वाइस पर्सन इन रिसर्च है Uh, Vincent announced that uh, today we are launching this trust mission, trust exercise, and it's a moment of pride and very we are very excited. The entire team is very much excited because this is the result of a, a very long and tiring efforts by the entire team. For last one to two years, we have been working on it, doing so many pilot exercises. So the team was like uh, running across all uh, uh, across the state for different for performing for performing different kind of pilot uh, study. so i wish to take this opportunity opportunity to thank the entire team and definitely wish to mention few names also uh, like and starting with uh, our vp and research head uh, mr yogesh kumar sir yogesh sir for his encouraging and uh, always motivating leadership then mr uh, punit pandey punit sir so our chief risk uh, analyst mr deepak sarwastha senior risk analyst mr uh, nitesh swasti our chief risk uh, chief promotion team gis analyst and then mr rakesh saw so technical consultant he is associated with us as a technical consultant for remote sensing mr grees mr vinit mr gobin uh, pandey data analyst and they all are on the uh, qc team and then grees uh, uh, is associated with us as a remote sensing uh, team and there are other members also like ms vt ms manisha abhijit and ceo so they all have contributed uh, hugely without the contribution each and every member of the team it would not could not have been possible and now i would like to mention a few points about uh, the significance of this mission now we all know that now the climate change is a reality and uh, uh, its impact is widespread and the gravity of the impact will be increasing and not on just other aspects of the earth system sciences uh, every we believe and we, we are observing uh, with all the reports and everything the way anthropogenic activity human induced activities are increasing it's very sure and uh, very uh, obvious that in future the impact on the feeds of food security the food ecosystem will be like very very threatening and this can affect the whole idea of sustainability so we need to take care of the fact that what are the those technology or what are those measures that we need to inculcate to understand the intricate characteristics of the whole food ecosystem food ecosystem then only you can handle the threat uh, uh, challenges of this uh, food uh, security so in this smart technology intervention can play a very pivotal role and uh, in this regard drone technology can be a, uh, a game changer if we use it in a very very optimal way and in a very uh, systematic way we can back by the scientific principles so this can help us in addressing the limitations of other technologies also so i will go into the details of it later on So for a moment, and I just wish to pass uh, this discussion to uh, Punit sir, so that he can explain the application areas of the drones, and then Mr. Sivaswa Deepak sir, who, who will explain the uh, specific specifications of our drones, which we are having. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Alok, uh, and uh, we I am I am also uh, having privilege to congratulate uh, my team uh, for launching our DAS services and. Uh, as uh, all of uh, know and we are also aware that drone uh, drone uses are now uh, going to be increased and uh, and governments and other sectors are also doing um, uh, giving their emphasis on using these drone these technology and uh, as far as uh, uh, we are concerned that uh, we uh, leads connect services private limited is uh, uh, basically a agri tech uh, solution provider company so uh, previously as uh, uh, we are very much uh, struggled uh, to have uh, to resolve uh, some issues particularly like claim management services uh, in the in the kharif season especially uh, so, but uh, now now this uh, this problem uh, uh, can be resolved very easily and in a very efficient manner because drone we have drones and uh, particularly in a in a in an area if claim uh, when claims are rep- reported then we can we can fly the drones and uh, collect the information in a very 
uh, very high resolution images. Uh, it, it can be uh, it sub meter accuracy, and uh, we can analyze the, these claims in a very efficient manner. And uh, uh, in, uh, not only for claim management services, uh, in the other domains, agriculture domains, uh, the drones can be used very uh, effectively, uh, particularly in the claim, uh, in particular, sorry, particularly in the crop health services. Uh, services. Uh, in crop health anal analysis, uh, we can use it in a very efficient manner. And uh, for uh, for the uh, for the areas where uh, some. Uh, calamities happens uh, like flood so we can analyze the, these flood areas in a very uh, good manner and give gives the report to our clients uh, in a very quick succession so uh, i'm very much happy and uh, congratulate our team to having uh, this uh, services and these drones uh, and particularly i will uh, i will hand over this discover this uh, discussion to uh, mr srivastava to to have to give details about the drones and uh, the cameras and which which we have uh, with us. Okay, thank you, Puneet. Uh, thank you, Lord. Basically, drones. I would like to say thank you. Drone is a very common term uh, we are using generally in society and in industry also. Actually, uh, drone is what basically this also kind of aircraft and which generally works without you without crew or without passengers. So, so that is why it's also known as RPAS. RPAS means basically remotely piloted air, aircraft system. And another term we generally listen like this is UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle. So UAV is also one of the another name. But drone is very common term that's that's why we are generally using. They are of Two types. There are two types of drones, and there are the multi rotor, and another is the fixed wing. And both of both type of drones has their own significance basically, because when we go for the large area mapping, so we generally prefer the say fixed wing drones. And what company has both of type both types of drones, multi rotor and fixed wing as, and our fixed wing drone is hybrid drone basically. This has the capability of multi rotor also because this when we when this drone will take off, it will go up to the takeoff height as a uh, multi rotor drone, then it will convert into the basically fish big drone, then it will cover the very large area and that may go up to the three to four square kilometer. If we fly from the hundred meter height. We will take the photographs from the 120 meter height. Basically, we, we will increase the height, then definitely the area will be large. large. We will cover the <coughs> large area of the and definitely. And in whole day, more than 10 to 12 square kilometer area will be covered using the fixed drone. Another is the multi rotor drone. And multi rotor drone will cover the 1 square kilometer area in, in a day. Less area compared to the existing drones. And uh, today, uh, drones are very useful, especially in uh, uh, mapping application. We can use the RGB camera for the infrastructure mapping purpose, and we, we will go for the agriculture mapping. So, agriculture mapping, uh, we will be using the infrared band, basically, red edge, multi spectral camera, sometimes thermal camera also will be used for agriculture mapping. So our drone has the capability to carry the other sensor also, other than the RGB. And these sensors are multi-spectral sensors and radius sensors. And uh, these drones are enabled with PPK system. So that will give the more accuracy. More accurately, we can capture the photographs. GPS accuracy is also well. So this is also a very good feature enabled with our drone. So definitely they are very much useful as already to research said for the agriculture application and for the due to climate change there is an unconditional uh, raining so suddenly there is a rain and human cannot go beyond the feed that may be wet at the time of uh, that calamity so in that case we can use the drone, drone will go and that will cover the whole area and we will get the image real time near 
real time unit images then based on analysis he can decide whether there is a issue of training or not so this kind of application that we see and now i would like to add the question mr you will tell more about the analytics of thank you for okay. people sir so, uh, will be explained by you about this specification of the drones and sort of uh, in sort of the application area now as you also mentioned that we have you know fixed wing and multi-rotor board this one this one is the fixed this one this one is the fixed wing and the uh, second one is the multi-rotor board the black now as far as the analytics is concerned so as the minister mentioned that in agriculture plus where we have some kind of a possibility with damage or some kind of disturbance in the context of weather extreme weather events and plus uh, as people have mentioned that uh, inaccessible area now where it's very important from the uh, uh, from the perspective of remote sensing capability because the remote sensing is all about we are collecting data uh, means, uh, without having any kind of physical coordinate uh, but uh, in the agriculture sometimes in situ observations are very important but because of the extreme weather events sometimes inaccessibility is a uh, concern and plus data problem also data unavailability because of the weather event if the uh, weather is not uh, uh, optimal uh, then if we, if we have a very extreme weather condition then we may have uh, a problem of noise in the satellite images also then it's a kind of a hindrance to our analysis so drone can be a game changer in that regard but plus there are few more things which we uh, would like to explain like drone can be the application of drones can be considered in two aspects so first one is the mapping and monitoring And second one is the the derived analytics. With those analytics, which can be used standalone also and for other uh, technologies also. Now, when we say mapping and monitoring, that goes well with the agriculture also, disaster management also, for urban applications also, and for other applications also. And when we talk about monitoring, the two things are very important. We say always like GIS frequency. Always we say that accuracy, GIS precision. So this high resolution imagery is this means high resolution data. The ability of that one can be Kind of bang on for our analysis, and that can be a very uh, good game, kind of game game changer. So there, drone is uh, very the use of drone is very significant, and uh, and now the way we are uh, we are seeing the impact of climate change and the increase in the extreme weather events. Now we only can uh, it's very obvious that these events will be increasing in future also. So it means we need, as I mentioned in the very first uh, part of the discussion, that we need a smart technology intervention. So there, drone comes. So in the mapping and monitoring, as Puneet sir said, that for the uh, specifically in the context of agriculture, health analysis, damage assessment, stress analysis. In fact, the drone and the drone data can be used for the uh, indicative multi indicative scenario of uh, generation, generation of. Uh, Indicative scenarios for the yield analysis also, and plus irrigation monitoring. Then when you go for the disaster management, so rescue movement, the monitor is uh, uh, mapping, uh, damage assessment. So for all those things, it's very important. And the most important thing is that resolution and plus the timely access. So that's why we are also now deliberating on creating the drone stations mm -hmm. because that can again uh, one step ahead of our. efforts because we we need to have that that timely actions can be taken but then there is one uh, concern which we need to uh, understand that when we go for the drones flying drones across the whole region is uh, like a uh, very cumbersome task and then the strength of the drone can be then uh, can become a limitation then the drone analytics there comes if we start using association analysis sensitivity analysis and based on that if we use drone data to confront the challenges limitations of the other technology like satellite remote sensing the noise age if we use the drone data to handle that one also so that can be done with the help of thresholding analysis so that also now our team is capable of uh, doing that one because we have a very uh, experienced domain and interdisciplinary expertise when we say experienced now uh, like just for an example now uh, with us uh, our uh, 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 EP sir is there, so more than 25 years of experience. The core related uh, thing. In similar manner, the Deepak sir and uh, Punit sir. Similarly, we have domain experts, the remote sensing GIS experts, because these uh, these expertise are very important to understand that how to use the drone, the information that we are having from the drone data, and how to use the, that information in other technologies also, besides the drone one. 
then we have a very dedicated uh, uh, research unit segregating to innovation and implementation and plus a very very strong uh, technology team so it's like a, a family where uh, we are with one soul in to handle the issue so that's why when we say the thresholding so we are not just using thresholding to handle the noises now we can use the drone analytics to develop the thresholds or upscaling this study also so smart drone sampling all things are now our within our capability then uh, we have developed remotes for that one also so i had mentioned in the beginning one that the team has been working doing pilot studies everything the background thing has been going on for like one to two years and uh, the result is today's launch so i once again i wish to thank the entire team and we used to thank the leaders for encouraging and their motivation so i used to wrap up with only one statement that we have capabilities we have done things before say, saying this one we have done all the pilot studies and now if there is any issue query or requirement we are very much excited and looking forward to uh, hear from the other side thanks